episode 13 of Let's Play Spin Tires with me, Justice Fist. Welcome back. And today, we are going to continue the work that we were doing on the Plains map. Um, and, uh, you know, with every day that I record one of these episodes, we get that much closer to the release of Mudrunner, which I'm super stoked about. Very happy. Can't wait. Can't wait. Trying to be patient. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard at this point. Um, just because I've been loving making this series and playing this game. And so, uh, you know, I don't know. What else can I say about that, man? Can't wait. Okay, anyway. Losing myself in... Okay, okay, so here we are. The planes. Hardcore mode. Here we go. I don't really remember what the hell we were doing, because, um... Well, it's Thanksgiving weekend just passed here in Canada, anyway. The Canadian one's different from the American one, obviously. Uh, but, um... As usual, that's blasting in my freaking eardrums. Hold on a second here. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, what the hell were we doing? Oh, yes. The 7310. 7310, we were trying to, uh, get this thing fixed up, no? Is that what it was? Must be, because we're sitting right here beside it. And it looks like we just removed the cloaking there, so... That must be what's going on, right? We've got the 6522 over there. Yes, that's right, it has a garage van on there uh, that we want to bring down here. Um, but I wanted to scout the way first. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. So, okay. Let's see here. First things first. 7310. Did we fix it up, or, or what? What's the deal here? Heavily, heavily damaged. No fuel. Okay, that's pretty typical. <laughs> um, Alright, let's get back into the 255 here. Uh, so, utility attachment only has 380 points, and I'm sure sure that 7310 needs more than that. You see how damaged that thing was? Anyway, I suppose we'll give him what we got. Give him what we got! And then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, come on now. I, I need to be able to see both of them, okay. Um, so, utility attachment. Yeah, he's got 800 points of damage. And he needs fuel, okay. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. Um, Alright, I feel like something's, something funny is happening here. I'm going to pause the recording right here for a second because uh, something doesn't seem right with my recording. What's going on here? Oh no, okay, it seems right. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Continue. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so. We need to get him... We need to bring another utility attachment over here. And we need to bring him some fuel as well. Um, now, how are we going to do that? We're going to have to go back to the garage with the 255 and get more utility, right? Unless... Unless... I get the 4320. Hmm. With a uh, fuel cistern and a utility attachment. But 800 points is a lot. That's a lot to have to repair. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, let's shut this thing down for a second and see... What, if anything, we can do with the 4320? Bring that up here. Uh, let's see here. Let's have a look. She 4320. Repaired one damage. Okay. Uh, so, let's see here. Let's uh, just get this off of here for a second. Now. Utility trailer 400 and 600. And we just repaired how much? Hmm. So, okay, so the utility trailer will carry 600 repair points and 400 liters of fuel. So, how many repair points do we need to fill the 7310? He needs 420. Okay. How much fuel will it hold? 800 liters of fuel. Okay. Okay. So, if we go back here, so 800 liters of fuel and 400 repair points. So, so that'll only carry half the fuel we need, but it w will carry enough repair points. So, if I put a fireproof exhaust on this, um, get the fuel cistern on the back of the truck. Okay. That'll carry the fuel we need. 
and then if we haul the utility trailer that will have the repair points we need plus a little extra fuel to boot so let's do that how big of a trailer is this it's just a little thing right yeah okay okay so let's do that man let's do that now So utility trailer. Okay, so we can fill this up at the refueling station, and we have 600 points. Up. Uh, this has a fuel tank on it, but that thing is uh, absolutely completely useless because it is not all-wheel drive. Okay, okay, here we go. So, phase one of recovering the 7310 is to hit up the fuel now. No, uh, I guess uh, we're just going to go for the most direct route, I suppose, and hope for the best. Um, famous last words. Um, yeah, we're going to go to here and then sort of jump across here. And we're going to stop at the fuel. Okay. Okay. We have a plan. We have a plan of action here. Just uh, get on that, shall we? All right. <clears throat> Nothing to it but to do it. I always say. Do I always say that? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, checklist. You have your boots? Your bug spray? I hope so. Beers? Beers? Did you bring your beers? You can't have any of mine, man. This is a BYOB kind of situation here. So, uh. Can we climb this muddy slope in high? No, we cannot. Oh. Dragging this trailer around is going to slow us down a little bit, but that's okay. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's nothing that the 4320 can't handle, right? It's kind of a kind of a serious workhorse here. It has very rarely let me down. Actually, the only time the 4320 ever lets me down is. Uh, when hauling medium logs, uh, because it's so top heavy, it's so tipsy, it always, it just it rolls over all the time, you know. Uh, so, uh, but other than that, man, certainly as a utility truck, and that it's it's a beast. For sure, love it. Going this way through the water is uh, pretty hairy, but it's just the most direct route we have right now, so that's why I'm taking this risk, just trying to expedite things a little bit. Uh, yeah, so that's my story, man. Uh, uh, one thing about spin tires is you should never be in a hurry. <laughs> it's one thing I've learned. Uh, you can get yourself into a situation when you're trying to rush things, but, you know, what the hell, I'm feeling brave today, man. And I have faith in the 4320. There's the fuel right there. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, 1,200 liters in that utility trailer. 
400 meters, please. Excellent. Now, while we're on our way over there, did the 6522 need fuel? No, fully fueled and no damage. Okay. Right, we would have repaired it uh, with the uh, 255, wouldn't we? Okay. All right. Excellent. Phase one complete. Sip of beer. Now phase two. Phase duh. Uh, I can't see anything in here. Uh, unfortunately. Because um, I feel like this is going to be quite a roundabout way to get over there. Uh, but this is the way we went with the 255, and the 255 seemed to do it just fine. So I suppose we'll go with the devil we know. And uh, just get the hell up there. Right? Right. Here we go then. Yeah, geez, I would really like to cut through there, but I'm not sure of the route. Okay. Um, anyway, alright. That's okay. Yeah, it's alright. Not a big deal. Um. Gee, that's quite a way that we went through there, huh? Anyway. Whatever. Um. Now. Waypoints, waypoints, waypoints. Here, waypoints. Um, hmm. Can I just go through here? It's going to be rocky and muddy, I don't know. Hopefully that's not a bad decision. Um, through here, and up here, and across there, and then from there, and then there. And then, won't let me do any more waypoints. Okay. Well, that's a start. It's a start anyway. Let's do that. Sip a beer. Got <laughs> to turn the parking brake off, Justice. Come on, man. Oh, that was a nasty shift, but it'll take it. It'll take it. Yeah, mud runner, baby. We're only weeks away now. Oh man. Mm. Big rocks here. Big rocks. Don't know if my trailer's going to get hung up. Oh yeah, it totally is. One hundred percent jammed on a rock. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know what, I'm not even going to like back and forth dilly-dally with this. We're just going to winch. Come on, baby. If it's even possible. Come on. Yeah, man. Stupid rocks. There we go. There we go. Stupid rocks. Not our friends. Definitely not our friends. What have we got up here? There's a bridge or something here, isn't there? What? a bridge here. Hopefully get that trailer straight enough to cross. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, no problem. Here we go, then. Yes. Logs and stuff. We don't want to get that stuff jammed in our trailer, either. Which we probably are going to. Look at the wood down here, man. 
Logs are just as bad as rocks. They're just bad news, man. They damage your truck. They get jammed in your wheels. And, uh, just the worst. Okay, well, on the bright side, the sun's coming up. I always prefer to do my off-roading during the day. That's for sure. It's just good practice, man. giving us a hard time. Hey, look at that. It's alright. Got this. Got this. Uh, more giant rocks. Giant rocks. Cool. <laughs> I saw that coming. Not really any way to avoid these suckers, is there? They're just conveniently right in the path. Oh no, that's not good. And we can pull ourselves up this way, I guess. We have to get creative here, man. <laughs> Look at the giant... Ri See the rock to the right just sort of falling like, hey, don't forget about me screwing up your shit. Oh man, oh man, this isn't good. Please, please. Mm, that'll do, I guess. Take what I can get. Take what I can get. Come on, baby. Okay. Sip of beer. Mmm. That beer is empty, man. That's not good. That's alright. As usual. Got another one right here. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Oof, that trailer still it's dragging something. That's all right. Stuck underneath it doesn't appear to be. Really? Come on, that was a beautiful shift, man. Come on now. Don't be like that. sure those of you that play with the wheel and shifter don't have the kind of shifting problems I have is because I'm playing with a PS3 controller and the way that you, you work that shifter with the controller is very strange. Like you, you press you press down on the stick to sort of unlock the shifter and then you move the right stick sort of in the motion like you guide it through sort of the, the direction that it needs to go. I, I don't know, I can't even explain it. But uh, it's awfully hard to get used to, man, and, I, and I'm, at this point I'm well practiced with it and usually nail it just fine, but uh, it's still difficult. I've watched other people play this where they just, they shift back and forth like it's nothing, and uh, and I know they're playing with a wheel and a shifter, so I'm thinking, okay, well, it's obviously a very different story with a shifter, so um, if you have a wheel and shifter, good for you, man. <laughs> It'll make things that much easier for you, but I don't, so... Uh, I don't have money for that kind of stuff right now, man. Yep, gaming on a budget here. I, I, I spent my money on my new computer. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's it. No fancy peripherals other than my track IR, which uh, has absolutely no use with this game anyway, so. Jesus.
little bit of mud over here. Just a bit. Oh, we will fell right into those rats. Eh? <laughs> Hopefully we can pull through in low here. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of winch points. It's this trailer. It's like a ball and chain, man. Dragging the ball and chain. We're gonna have to crawl through this in loaf, that's for sure. Here we are with a ton of water. Just get in the high and just try to blast through this because it's going to do some damage, yeah. It certainly is. Okay, and that's it for our waypoints. Uh, just get on to dry land here and sort this out. Without waypoints, that will end up in another country. What? Well, I'm not in Siberia anymore? What? What? Okay, let's have a look here. How are we doing? Hey, we're almost there. So we're going to go here. And then we're going this way. And then we're going down this way. And this way. Here, there. And then, boom, we're there. Not bad, we're close. We're close, we're close. Let's go. Right, so parking brake justice. Parking brake, man. <clears throat> all right. When all else fails, put it in low, man. How's that trailer doing? <laughs> uh huh. Left here. What a swampy mess we're dealing with here. Look at this. Stinky old swamp water. Mmm. Nice. Avoid some of these logs if we can. Don't want to get them jammed under the trailer. Come on, I couldn't take out that sapling? Really? Really, man? 
I've destroyed much bigger trees than that in my spin tires career. What the hell was that? Yeah, what are we stuck on now? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh crap, look at the giant rocks here. Oh no, 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 this is not good. This is not good. Okay, we made it. We made it. Awesome. Excellent. Perfect, man. Okay. Right on. Now, first thing I need to do. Just fuel myself up because uh, one thing I've learned is always keep your fuel sister and truck fueled up, man. Because when it runs out of fuel, you're pretty screwed, you know? Um, so let's see here. Well, we might as well use up the utility trailer because, let's face it, I don't know if I'm going to pull this stupid trailer around with me or not. Now, I believe it needed more fuel than the utility trailer could handle, right? So, it still has 180 points in it, too. Um, fuel system. There we go. Okay, that should be everything. Oops, sorry. Oops, have a look here. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. wonder, um... Does the 255 have any damage? No, but it does need fuel. Okay. We will pull him up beside 4320 and get him fueled up. Uh, and then um, continue our scouting mission for now. I want to scout the possible routes coming into the garage uh, before we try and haul that semi-trailer over. Uh, make sure we have a good view of the best possible routes to do that. It ain't pretty, but there it is. Boom. Now, I know it didn't show that. It had It has five damage. There we go. It's repaired, too. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. These invincible little saplings. Since when, man? Since when? Okay. Anyway. Here we go. Now. Continue the scouting mission. That looks like it's... Uh, that cloaking looks like it's out in the plains. Uh, we have one here as well. Um, hmm. I wonder if I could just sort of squeeze through here somehow, come down here. Oh, I hate the way that gets in the way. Uh, I'd come down here, and then through here, sort of thing, under the trail, here. Boom, right? Start with that, it's close. Let's do that. Okay.
Oopsie. I don't want to do too much damage here. My utility attachment is empty. And I can see the cooking from here. Okay. Another one down. Now, I want to get this plains area uh, opened up. And I'm going to tell you why, because I remember from this map, while uh, the northern route here to the garage seems like the most obvious route, uh, right here, this is like a really steep berm, and there's there's all these rocks here. There's actually It's actually a lot worse than it looks. And there's all kinds of downed wood. So anything you try and bring in uh, this way just gets all hung up and caught and damaged and everything else it's it's a it's a nightmare the trick to this map i found is using the planes f to get uh, uh from the western side of the map to the eastern side of the map and not <laughs> certainly not the north i'm not familiar with the southern route um but i know the northern route is not the way you want to go so that's why my main priority is to get at least this cloaking out of the way uh so that we can sort of gauge uh, how we're going to go about uh, pulling this semi-trailer uh, over to the garage. So um, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. That's my story. Uh, so get out onto the planes now to get to that cloaking. Uh, let's see here. I mean, really, I'm really not sure the best route. Um, I suppose we could come back sort of the way we came. That wasn't terrible. Uh, and then maybe, maybe we can cut through here. Uh, I want to avoid the giant rock rocks, man. Rocks, goddamn rocks. But I'm willing to bet that this is full of wood anyway. And then we're going to be dealing with giant rocks over here, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then at that point, um, I mean, we could always just wing it through here, but maybe we'll uh, connect back to the trail uh, and come this way and then over the cloaking. That's the plan, man. That's the plan. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. A sip of beer, a little liquid courage. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna drive over those those logs. Yeah, that's, that's what I need. Logs all jammed into the underneath of my truck. Yeah, no thanks. Not doing that. Not today, Satan. Oh my God. Okay, is there anything that looks like a trail here? Right here. Okay, right here. Okay, we just came through here, just uh, from a different perspective. Ah, uh, did I call it or what? Look at the wood. <laughs> you know what? Um, I don't know if this will help. If we maybe just try to avoid that a little bit and go up to the left there? I don't know. <laughs> I fucking knew it, man. I knew it. Oh, there's no rocks, but I bet you there's going to be a ton of wood. There's a ton of wood here anyway. doesn't matter. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this freaking mess. Oh no. Just 
Just gonna crawl through here with the diffs locked, hopefully. We don't get snagged too bad. Come on now. Don't get me going. All right, here we go. Here's the trail. Good. Look left into the plains here, and there it is. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay. Excellent. Excellent, man. Now. Let's have a look here. Okay, well, one thing we know is we're not pulling the semi-trailer through there. <laughs> hmm. I was hoping there would be a, an easy way through here with the semi-trailer, but uh, I guess the only thing to do, really, because, I mean, perhaps if we came down onto the plains this way, uh, maybe there's a way through here. I don't know. Hmm. We're gonna have to keep scouting for now. Knowledge is everything, right? We don't. I don't see a clear th uh, route yet, so uh, we're gonna go for this poking, and then we're gonna scoot over here and get that one. Uh, just try to get a better view of what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. Sip of beer. Let's do that. Is. Nice easy drive across the plains. I like that, man. Okay, great. Now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, um. Need to get to this cloaking now somehow. Somehow. Sip a beer. See what we can see.
Okay, so this is where things get a bit funny. Um, don't know that there's really a proper way across there. I can't see. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll uh, head north and look for s some sort of trail or something. I don't know. This is where things are going to get a bit funny. Need to find a trail. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try this. see the cloaking. Oh, but we're bottomed out. <laughs> uh, Shizer, I don't know. Ah, oh, perfect. It was meant to be, man. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Tree. Excellent. Myself turned around here. Yes, sir. Get over to that cloaking. We're, gonna, we're starting to lose daylight here, so. That's never ideal in scouting. God knows we've done enough scouting at night by now, though. Jeez, really? Is it that soft? Wow. We're in proper stuck here. Jesus. Get out the way. Excellent. It's another one down. All right. So. Hmm. Okay. Well. There you have it. There's only two left. Might as well finish this whole scouting thing, right? I mean, really. Yeah? Uh, so let's see here. How are we getting out of here? Oh, just turn around, go back the way we came. And then uh, we'll follow this trail down. That's going to confuse the hell out of me. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to stay on this trail. Um, we'll get to here. We're going to go this way and get the cloaking. Yeah, that's the plan. Justice, come on, man. Get with the program, buddy. It must be full of rocks under there or something. Because it's just like we come to a dead stop here. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway.
Yeah, look, it's all rocks in this water. <laughs> uh, they're like ninja rocks, man. You can't see them, but they're there and they'll get you. Fucking ninja rocks. Dirty, dirty buggers. Yep, there's a coping up there. Excellent. We'll go get it. So, stay on this trail. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder uh, if maybe. Hmm. No. Okay. We'll stay on this trail. Uh, and then here we're going to cut through a little complete with sound effects. Okay, perfect. That's the plan, man. Let's do it. Through here, yeah. And there it is. Beautiful. All right. Boom. That's it, man. The plains map is scouted, baby. <clears throat> right on. Uh, now the 255 is getting low on fuel, um, for this point there's not really any reason to fuel it up, it's sort of, it's done its job for now, uh, so yeah, I guess we'll just shut her down here, yes sir, okay, so now, our main priority was to get that semi-trailer, 6522 over to the garage. Now, um, question is, how are we going to do that? Hmm. As I said, this, this route, this whole area right here is just, no, not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Um, hmm. Cutting through the planes seems to work the best. Uh, but as far as a route that's going to be. Hmm. Hmm. Good question. Good question. I'm really not sure. Uh, perhaps. Now, I don't know what this trail looks like when we get into here, but maybe we can sort of. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So many decisions, man. Alright, let's get over here. Does not have off road butt tires on it. <laughs> just, just don't understand. I don't understand, man. Now, I believe. Uh, the, when I first played this game years ago when it came out, I if I remember correctly, because I, I remember this map, I remember hauling that van up the northern route and going, Jesus, why did I do that? 
Um, but maybe. Hmm. Because uh, <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we can go north and come south and down along here. Um, let's cut around here. But on that note, uh, we could also use this trail if we... Okay, okay, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to take the main big muddy trail up to this point, And then we're going to cut south a bit and meet up with this trail here. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, we're going to go this way. Because I know this is relatively easy until we get sort of to here now. This is where things get a bit wonky. Um, <laughs> I know coming through here was uh, not ideal. Hmm, okay, maybe we can do this. Uh, this is turning into a roundabout way, but um, sometimes a roundabout way saves you more time than getting stuck uh, 20 times <laughs> along your route and having to get the recovery vehicle over and uh, all of that stuff. So, And then we're going to go right here onto this trail. And then we're going to take this, uh, what looks to be a relatively main trail, up to the garage and uh, unlock the garage. Uh, how are we doing for time here? Hmm. We are getting low on time. Um, okay. I've already plotted the route, so we will go till either we get there or something goes horribly wrong. Whichever comes first, right? <clears throat> Alright, that's the plan, man. Let's do it. Seriously, right now? Yeah, road tires on this thing. Who who drives it to where that where it is there through these conditions with road tires on? It's the only thing that I, I don't understand. You find them like, it was like like in the last map we found the two five five in the middle of the forest and the mud and the rocks and everything else with road tires on. How the hell does that even happen? You know, legitimate question, man. Legitimate question. I'm not complaining. I'm asking. I'm asking a question. Anyway. I, well, I guess I am sort of complaining. Because it doesn't make sense. I, I, I don't like things that don't make sense. It, it makes me crazy. Things have to make sense to me. Oh my god, no you don't. No you don't. What in the hell is happening here? Jesus. Now well, we're proper stuck, aren't we? Jesus Christ. Come on, you lump of crap. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> uh. 
I mean, we're moving. We're moving. Just, um, you know. <laughs> Not breaking any speed limits or records or anything of that nature. <laughs> we're doing it very slowly, but we're doing it. Here we go then. Okay, we're going hard right here, apparently. Oh my god. I think we're stuck. Okay, uh, let's see here. Absolutely nothing to winch to. Of course not. Look at that. Look at how deep that is. Jesus. Let's try to just try to go wide around that and see if that works for us here. Okay. So far that's working. Just hit a really deep spot there, I guess. Coming up, fantastic. All right, good timing with that gear shifting there. Very nice. Very nice. Come to a dead stop, basically. Anyway, I've heard my rant about that. One of a few things I hope they fixed in uh, Mudrunner. Oh yeah, this looks deep as hell. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> uh. Oh, give me a break, man. Don't get any better than that.
probably be putting it in low here, but to hell with it. To hell with it, I say. Seriously, right now? <laughs> I love these phone calls you get, and the number is like, there's too many numbers. There's way too many numbers in it. What is that? I mean, oh, gee, I wonder, is that, could that be a solicitor? Or <laughs> is that someone I know? Oh, look, it made me go the wrong way and everything. Jesus, H. Get lost. I'm not buying what you're selling. Great. Great. That disturbed me to the point where now, I'm way off where I'm supposed to be. God effing damn it. God damn solicitor. Effing my shit right up. Oh my god. Some, I, I just want to reach through the phone and slap them in the face. You know what I mean? Un. Uh, really, man. Really. Go and solicit your garbage elsewhere. I swear to Christ. Oh, that makes me mad. Okay. Well, here we go. I think I think we sort of fixed it here. Let's see. <laughs> Look at that trailer, it just <laughs> looks heavy. <laughs> oh wow, okay, I can't even pull it up this hill here, hold on. Oh wow, we get proper stuck here, okay. I was not expecting that. That's surprising, but okay. Guess we hit another soft spot, I don't know. Of course, there's n n nothing to winch to out here in the plains, man. That is the one big problem here. It's, uh... That might have been my fault for trying to blast through on high because it looks like we are getting some traction here in low. Get that trailer up this hill one way or another. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Come on, man. That was like seamless. Seamless. Uh, that was not seamless. I guess. <laughs> Okay, I need a sip of beer. And I'm at my uh, one hour limit here. How far off are we? Still quite far. Um, so that's, I've got the waypoints plotted. I, knew the, I know the road I want to take. So I'm just going to continue. Because stopping it here at this point will just uh, confuse the hell out of me. Now, um... Why? Why? Okay, I guess that's why. <coughs> yeah, hold on a second, Justice. What are you doing, man? Is that really what I mean to do? It is too, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, I think I see a way here. Just through here, hopefully. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, that worked out. This bridge, beautiful. Okay. Go then. I believe. 
believe we're on sort of the main trail. Uh, so hopefully, it should be relatively smooth from here. Although I do know there is that one spot we got stuck with the 255 there on this trail. I'm trying to get the cloaking with like deep water with rocks in it and soft mud. It's a terrible combination. But I'm hoping we can just blast right through it. Oh, there's the garage. Okay, I don't know what happened to that trouble spot I was thinking of, but hey. Who cares, man? We made it. We made it. Fantastic. All right. Excellent. Perfect way to end this episode, man. Beautiful. Bam. That's it for episode 12, baby. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you on the next one.